It's been snowing here on and off all day, but nothing is sticking down here. But you can see the tops of the mountains over there. It's sticking up there. Well, good morning, YouTube guys. All right here I am out at the shop. And uh, truth is, we're not really doing anything here today. But I'm pretty sure that I mentioned in a few videos back when Grace and I were here doing a lot of cleanup that we had recorded other stuff as we were cleaning things up here in the past and the footage had got lost. And uh, I found some of it. I don't think I found all of it. But, you know, right here we got these power poles on the wall. But there was a time when that stuff wasn't there. And we had to clean all this up. And it was so cluttered over here. And it looked really good for a while. It's, it's starting to look messy again. You know, it's a pretty cold and uh, ominous day here in Western North Carolina. It's only about 25 or 30 degrees now. And uh, as that sun goes down, it's going to drop into the teens really quick. And by morning, it's only going to be about four degrees. Now, the footage you're about to see was actually from April of last year. So April of 2023. And the weather was much nicer. Uh, Talon even showed up to help me move some of this stuff around. Hopefully, this video will fill in some of the gaps of uh, how we got to where we are now. Even though the progress on this has not been anything like what I wanted it to be. It's been very slow going because I haven't had the time to get over here and really do what I wanted to do. And sometimes I'm still having a little trouble finding my motivation in the wintertime. I also want to thank those of you that have joined the Patreon group. There's been a few more of you added on there. And uh, I think this coming Monday's video will actually be uh, the teardown day in Sturgis. And uh, the beautiful Hunter came by once again to visit us. And we got a few more pictures of her on Talon's motorcycle. So that was always good. We've got a few more really cool videos lined up for you guys over there as well. Also, the last couple of weeks, I've been filming some stuff out at the house. And we've actually been putting that up on the Halstead Homestead channel. There'll be a link to that in the description if you guys want to see that stuff at home. Go ahead. I know not everybody wants to see the home stuff, but those of you that do, you're more than welcome to go over there and see it. We, uh, we do want to kind of build that channel a little bit too. I mentioned briefly in there that we did buy another piece of property uh, right next door to our property. So we've got almost eight acres now, and we do have some plans for that, which will all be on that channel, guys. All right, let's get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. guys we are back over at the new shop and if you remember last time we left off here which is before we went to the mid-america truck show derek and i come over and done a little bit of cleanup here along the front of the building pulled out some trees got everything away now i came by for a little while yesterday and uh i recorded a little bit but i'm actually having trouble keeping the camera on my magnetic camera mount on the tractor because the tractor has no suspension and it gets bumpy and the bucket move and everything the camera keeps changing position and falling off. I even ran over my camera, my iPhone. It's my iPhone, not just my camera. I ran over it with the tractor yesterday. But anyway, if you look out here behind me, you can see I cleared a lot more land over here. See the piles of dirt over there, more piles of dirt over here. Well, there's a big pile. You can't see it right now, but there's another pile around that corner where I piled a lot of stuff up. Just trying to get that overgrowth off of the top to get us a hard base that I will eventually level out really good with the box blade and then put more gravel on it. But I also cleaned up over here a little bit as well. So 
actually last time we had just kind of stopped right about here, but I cleaned up that corner and all the way around to that fence line over there. What I could get with the tractor anyways, there's still some trees that need to be taken out, but we got kind of a drainage area there. Just kind of cleaned it all up. That was all wooded yesterday. Primarily, I'm trying to get everything cleaned up around the building so we can start getting to it to get maintenance, you know, fixing soffits and painting the building and so on and so forth. Just everything we need to do to get it cleaned up. Also got to focus on drainage. So as you see, we've got the little ditch right here, but it's not so ditchy right here. So this probably needs to be dug out a little better to get that water away. Now that ditch does continue down and around and cuts back over this way. And you can see that right through here is kind of a low spot. And in the last video, you know, we had, it was pretty mucky and muddy over here. And you can see I filled some of it, but what I ended up doing was creating a dam so that now that it rained, all the water that runs downhill off of this driveway is just puddling here. So I'm gonna have to fix that as well. So what I'm likely going to do, not today, but I'm gonna dig this back out and I will probably lay like a French drain up at that point and then kind of run it into a culvert and run it back here off the property someplace. I might even go as far back to tie it all into the creek so that everything runs off back there. This little low spot here, it does kind of connect into this low spot here and then it loops around. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it's kind of like a ditch that runs right along through there past that pile of dirt and then runs over to the one that was on the other side of the building over there that I just showed you. This is just some of the dirt that I scooped up yesterday and moved around plus those two piles there. A lot of that came out of that spot. Now a lot of it's that grassy nasty stuff with just a lot of dirt mixed in. Now right here you can kind of see where my tire tracks go in where I came in yesterday and ended up dumping that load of dirt. But right through here is where that ditch comes around that leads up to there. Now up in this area, I wanna keep it where I can drive across it. So I don't want to ditch and I don't want it to be wet and muddy. And that's why I'll do a French drain and probably run a culvert under the ground over there, at least to get the water out to this point where it can then flow through here and then into the ditch that runs along this side of the property, which should flow all the way back to the creek. Anyway, that is not all happening today. And realistically for some of that, a little bit of a backhoe or an excavator would be the ideal thing. Now I do have a pretty lengthy piece of pipe right here that I can use, eight inch piece of drain pipe. That might work well for the part that I need to drive over at least. So we'll probably be using that. But like I said, it's not gonna happen today. Today we're focused on something different. All right, so on this side of the building, as you can see, I've got a lot of farm implements stacked up here over here, a lot of like pallet racking and everything over here. And you can see there's kind of like a little bit of a yard over here that's fenced in and there's some more equipment and some more pallet racking and just shelving and scrap metal, all kinds of stuff over there. Well, I've got to move a lot of, out of the way because we've got to get the power pole put back on this building. So right now there is no electricity here. But if you look right here, right there, there's a hole in the wall. That's where the meter went and then Right up there above it, there's a hole going up there through the roof. Now, I do have the weather head, the pole, and the meter box. It's laying over yonder. But anyway, I got to get it and get it reattached to the building so that they can bring power from this pole right here. They can put the transformer back on it. And all the wires actually coiled up laying there. But they got to put the transformer on and run it over to the weather head once I get it installed. So... My plan today was to start moving a lot of the stuff away from the building so I can get in here and work without tripping over things, get in here with the tractor, back up the truck, whatever I need to do. But between that last clip and this clip, you notice it's gotten a lot darker. Well, I took a phone call, my daughter showed up, and never mind. It's been an hour and a half since I did that last clip, and now I'm out of light, so it's not going to happen today. But maybe I think the weather is still good tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow, and uh, we'll get working on this. There's going to be a lot of moving stuff around. But if you look, it's real grassy over here, but that's all gravel underneath. So you can see it's pretty grassy and grown up, but if you look closely, it's all gravel underneath it.
Well, hopefully the weather will be good enough tomorrow and we'll come out here and get some more work done. So maybe we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is the next afternoon. It's way later in the afternoon. It's probably four o'clock now, but I have a bunch of errands to run today. Apparently, Katie's got something going on with her eye. I had to take her to the eye doctor, which was unscheduled, so it's got me way behind schedule. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm about to take her to a specialist tomorrow because it's a more serious issue than what we were hoping for. But tomorrow's going to be raining anyway, so I won't be out here doing any work. But I'm going to get back to doing what we're doing. Remember, when I left off yesterday, I was explaining to you we got to get the power pole put back in here. Not the power pole, the weather head and the... the the weather head, the meter box, the pole, all that stuff. Yep. So I got to clean some stuff up over on the other side of the lot and move some equipment around so that I have access to be able to work on what I need to work on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Well, it's definitely a little bit more challenging than I thought trying to get this growth layer off the top. And it's not just grass. There's this other like slimy, weird stuff involved in it too. But it's got a good hold. So I'm, like I said, I'm trying to just scrape the top. And that's why I'm going backwards and back dragging it. Um, if I come in at it and cut, I've got a really bad habit of cutting too deep. And I really don't want to take any material out of here. There's a good gravel base and I don't want to cut that out. So I'm really just trying to skim the top. Definitely harder than it looks. But I think I've got enough cleared out of the way for now to where I can go ahead and get the items that I need moved. I can put them over here in this uh, cleared spot and then I'll have to rearrange. There's, I mean, if you look, there's so much junk on the ground everywhere over here that, uh, yeah, it's gonna need a lot of rearranging before we really get this right. But all right, let's go move some other equipment.
out of the way to get all that other metal sheeting out of the way, this trailer, so it's got to go no matter what. Huh? Got it over like that center piece is coming up. Pull slack out if you need it. Just snug on. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Talon showed up while I was moving things and he threw in a couple helping hands, helped wrap chains around all the uh, implements and we got them all moved over there, which I'll show you a picture of that here in just a second. But now we still need to get rid of all these leaves and rake everything out. But now that it's clear, we can get over here. I've got the old weather head with, with the meter box here. I don't have the tools to install it today, but also this goes through the roof if you can see, there's a hole right up here. Let me flip the camera around. Right there. And before I stick this back up through the roof, I want to put some type of a, a weatherproof cap around this pipe as it sets on the roof. And I don't know whether I'm going to take the weather head off of the top and fish something over top or unscrew the mast from the meter box 
fish the mast down through the top, reattach the meter box, attach to the wall. Not sure I'm gonna do it yet, but either way, I don't have the tools here to do that, or I don't have the piece to seal where the protrusion is through the roof. I don't want any roof penetrations that are unsealed. I don't want water going inside. I know right now there's already a hole there, but uh, we wanna fix that when we put this together. So right here is where we stacked everything for the moment. And keep in mind, this is still just temporary, but we moved all these implements, just kind of kept everything grouped together like they were. Now, I don't like the idea that they're just sitting on the ground, but again, this is temporary. This whole area is gonna get cleaned up and reorganized. So hopefully we'll get them up off of the ground, either on some concrete blocks or some pallets or something. But that cleaned up our whole building over there, a whole bunch. Yeah, we still gotta get rid of that tree because it's blocking the door. So yeah, here's the tree that's got to go. And uh, it wasn't my plan to do it today, but Talon's got the chainsaw in his hand and he wants to cut it now. So we just might go ahead and do that. All right, guys, as we come through the inside of the shop, I know the lighting isn't the best in here. Walk across all these pallets. And uh, here we get to the door. And when you open the door, you have tree. So yeah, it's got to go, eh? Another squirter. I really feel like we got something accomplished. Now, look how clean this side of the building looks with that tree gone, with all that other garbage gone and out of the way. Again, I know we've got a long ways to go, but it's baby steps. We've taken a few baby steps and it's really starting to look good. And now uh, Talon's having a little bit of fun playing on the tractor. He's never driven a full-size tractor before in his life. So I was trying to give him a few tips and pointers. Not that I'm an expert, but I've learned a little bit over the 10 or 20 hours I've put in on it. So. We're having fun with that too. But I think that's gonna end this video. We gotta run up to the yard and grab an implement. There's a box plate up there that we're gonna to hook to the back of the tractor because I need it at home and I'm also gonna need it here. So we're gonna run over there and get that, but it's gonna be dark by the time we're done. So for now, you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching. And until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.